I had to put my puree on the plate. But I'm just hoping that my last minute decision to add the dates hasn't ruined the flavour. So, Mimi, what have you cooked? I made pork three ways with pickled apple and a date onion and apple puree. So pork three ways, so you've got a... What's this? Um, so that is my pressure-cooked pork, yep. um, roasted, yep. and then uh, my pork floss. Looks great. Yeah, it looks really good. It's certainly golden brown and looking crispy and delicious, so let's pray the pork is tender, shall we? I actually love that dish because there is, you know, little crispy shards of, of pork which are delicious, that soft braised and then deep fried pork that just kind of, boom, melts in your mouth. And it's all tempered by this lovely... Is that an onion puree um, underneath? It's onion, date and apple. It's, it's delicious and it's fresh and it's a little acidic, so I think it's very clever and very, very yummy. We're going to start expecting restaurant quality dishes like this from you every time you cook. It's really good. Well done. What I'm Thank you. I'm so happy and relieved that they love my puree. With this week being the toughest week ever, I'm really hoping that I have a chance in winning the advantage today. Amazing. Next up. What have you cooked, Harry? Today I've just cooked a drunken pork belly. Got the beautiful pork belly there, which I've pressure cooked in rum. Made an onion and corn service, some fresh apple and post apple. I'm just curious to see how drunk this piece of pork is. There's no mistaking the rum. <laughs> You know what I'm impressed about, actually? The risk with all those ingredients is that it's going to be a jumble of too many. And what you've done is given us a very clean dish that is very, very tasty and champions just a couple of those ingredients. So the rum is definitely there. It's, it's delicious. The date is there. The corn, the pork. And I love that. This should be a sweet moment for you because that is a really lovely dish. One of the best looking dishes you've cooked and probably the most successful just in terms of subtlety, balance and complexity. Well done. Well done. Thank you so much. Good stuff. Hearing this feedback from the judges, I can't wipe the smile off my face. It's just awesome. I'm... We love days like this when there were really no bad dishes and we have to debate about which three we taste. The other one that we knew we had to taste was Brett's. Really, really pumped. Charge up there with a huge grin on my face and put it down in front of him and there you go, boys. Have a go at that. What's the dish? I've got a nice sticky pork. Uh, I've got a corn puree that's been smoked and apple. Apple skins, pickled apple and some fresh apple as well. I think it looks beautiful. You know, we, we walked around and we just went, wow, look at that. We've got to taste that dish. And so you smoked that corn puree, right? Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to only have a little bit. I can feel George's eyes boring into my back. Make an involuntary sound of pleasure. He did, he grunted. He didn't he? I, I, I love a grunt. I always know when you, you've tasted something you love. We're very lucky, we are, Brett, because yeah. we see amateur cooks who have dreams and ambitions that obviously we connect to along the way, and then you just see this change, and we love it. That combination of, of the smokiness of the corn puree, the sweetness of the dates, the slightly caramelly, 
darkness of the dates, delicious. And I love the fact you're developing your own style in this competition, and you're proud to do that. If you'd showed me that at the beginning of the competition and said, Brett's going to cook that, I'd go, no way. And I'm so pleased for you. I'm so proud of you, because that is absolutely delicious. That, when we talk about the penny dropping, the penny has dropped. Food's making sense. Brett, you can win this competition. Thanks, Derek. Thanks, guys. Six weeks ago, eight weeks ago, three months ago, I couldn't have done that. And now I can. Well done, Brett. This great man in front of me has just said that, Brett, you can win this. You're just so proud of how far I've come. Awesome. Well, three great dishes each, providing compelling argument for why their makers should get this huge advantage in the invention test. And huge it is because in the toughest week of MasterChef, any advantage, especially this one, is mammoth. The secret of winning this competition is about one thing. It's about developing faster than everyone else. And I think what's great about all those three dishes, they show so much development. But we have a, a clear favour. Brett, congratulations. Oh. Whenever George starts making small, happy animal noises, <laughs> you know that has to be the dish. Well done. What I wanted to achieve today, I've achieved in, you know, in spades. I've just come such a long way, and whatever comes next, I, I feel like I'm confident now.